Hi everyone, this is Daniel Scranton and Kalyandra's here too. And uh, we're going to channel the Arc Drain Council. <coughs> oh. Many instances where humankind was on a more direct path of ascension and where exactly you got sidetracked. on those journeys of your collective. Once individuals gain a certain amount of knowledge and develop their skills and abilities, they then have the option of sharing what it is that they have come to master. They can share it and teach others how to do it, or they can see themselves as having more power over others as a result of their mastery over energy and vibration 
and they can keep it for themselves. And when they do this, they also seek to keep that knowledge, that wisdom, away from their fellow humans. People love to feel special. And one of the ways that people have been able to feel special is when they hone their abilities, when they attain spiritual gifts, And so if they were to then share what was shared with them with everyone else, they would not feel as special and they would not have as much power. And this is what has happened throughout human history there on earth. But now the times are changing. Information cannot be held back from the masses anymore. You all have the option of learning about the various tools and spiritual practices that will bring you into greater alignment with Source and give you that mastery over energy that you all want. You have so many teachers on your world today who seek to empower their fellow humans, and this is a very good sign. Those who want to hold on tight to their power and to that knowledge, that information, they are having a very hard time right now because they can see how futile their efforts are. You all are accessing exactly what you need to. And when you need to. And it is a very exciting time to be a human being there on planet Earth. If you truly want to ascend, to be your higher selves, to be fifth dimensional, then you will share when you can. And you will teach anyone who is ready to be taught. You will seek the advancement, the evolution of each and every one of your fellow humans. There is power in numbers. And your numbers are multiplying every single day. The more of you that have the power, that have the abilities, the closer you get to the fifth dimension.
So don't just wait for your fellow humans to catch up to where you are and where you have been for quite some time. Guide them. Give them the tools that they need. And invite them to exist in the higher frequency state that you have been so fortunate to have found. Ah! And we have enjoyed connecting with you. for watching my video. I'm going to show you guys something I'm, I'm very proud of here. Not you, Kali Andre. They know about you already. <laughs> so, um, as you many of you know who tune in regularly, there's always an orchid back here. Something I always want to have in the background to uh, add to the, the ambiance or whatever. <laughs> And uh, it's nice to have orchids in the house, you know, so we will have sometimes two or three or more in the house. And uh, when they when they die, when when all the flowers fall off, I've been told for a long time, like you can uh, you can put them like inside of a of a tree that's got a lot of branches where you can like prop it up and. Um, and it'll get, you know, you don't want these in the sun like all the time. So it'll get some shade, but um, they'll also get some some sun. And there's and this is this one was dead. Um, I don't know how long ago. Um, dormant maybe is a better word for it, because I found this one today in the in the tree, in the jacaranda tree where I've been placing all the 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 ones when the, the after the leaves fall off and um, let's put it right there <laughs> and um, I was shocked because my wife actually asked me about it today about the orchid thing and I was like yeah you know I've been throwing them in the <laughs> in the center of this this big jacaranda tree that has like all these different trunks kind of growing so it's got like this nice little spot and um, and I told her, you know, I don't think it really works for us because we don't we don't actually do anything. We don't water them or anything once we put them there. But lo and behold, there's one, two, three unopened buds to in addition to the two that are there. And so it's like it's like bonus orchid. And there's another one, too. There's a, uh, another one over there that I'm not going to get get up and show you. But that one has like four or five open flowers and buds on it, too. So it works, you know, you don't have to ever throw your orchids away, but the, the leaves look really sad on this one. <laughs> but um, <laughs> anyway, anyway. Um, so my, my announcements are that um, Kaliandra's here, uh, I'm getting pet right here. Uh, I still have a 50% off sale. It's good, to, it's good till Wednesday, this... Uh, Coupon code LOVE, L-O-V-E, and you enter it at checkout, and you click apply, and you get 50% off almost everything on DanielScranton.com. So check that out. Um, there'll be a link down below. And um, also, Light Languages course, that starts very soon. Uh, amazingly, in, uh, on Wednesday it starts. And so I can't believe how quickly it's, it's snuck up on me. The new course um, as I wrap up the high vibration one on uh, uh, tomorrow. Um, this one is a three week course. You learn everything that I know about light languages, including <laughs> including how to how to speak them and how to use them uh, to to channel, to heal, to create your reality, to do just about anything. They're they're very. Uh, 
They're very multifaceted, these light languages. So that starts Wednesday. It's You can go to danielscran.com slash light to sign up or look for a link down below on YouTube to just click. Um, and then advanced group channeling class is on 22nd. That's coming up just a little bit later this month. That's for the Arcturian Council. It's a two-hour class. They teach you how to channel a bunch of different beings. So they take you through all these different exercises and they get you um, channeling them. So it's fun. It's good. And if you can't make it to any of those classes and courses that I teach live, you can always count on the, um, the recording to come and you can work with that. You can, you can listen at your own pace and in your own perfect timing. Uh, a lot of people do that actually with the courses. And you can even ask questions um, via email. You can ask me questions. I'll answer them during the, the time. Uh, advanced group channeling class, however, is not a question and answer. It's straight like Arcturians come in. They have their agenda. They know what they want to teach you, and they do it. Um, we, um, we had a beach day today, and uh, it was awesome. Um, it was particularly cool that we, um, we were driving down, and we drive down this highway to get there. And um, it's called the Haleakala Highway. And you can see off in the distance, like, is it cloudy over there where the beaches are? Um, and it was. It was not just cloudy. It was, like, gray and, like, clouds all the way down to the um, shoreline, <coughs> down to the horizon, you know. So I said to my wife, let's just, we'll go. We'll do the, the errands we were going to do in the afternoon or after the beach, we'll do them now. And then maybe this afternoon it'll clear it up, you know, and we can we can give it another shot. And so we went and we did the, the car stuff and the and the grocery stuff, and then it, the, it was obvious that the the whole sky had cleared up and so we, we drove we drove to the first beach and then that was like that seemed like really serendipitous because we, we get there in the we get the best possible parking space, one we've never gotten before. And we get there, and uh, as soon as we get out of the car and we start walking, we're like, oh, man, it's so windy. And when it's too windy there, even before you get to the beach, you know it's going to be super-duper windy uh, at the beach. So we just got right back in the car and went to the other beach, which is more, more of a cove, which prevents the wind from really nailing you in these beaches. And um, there was nobody there. We the, the whole parking side of the street was just empty, and um, so we go there and had the beach to ourselves most of the time. We were there, and Talea and I got stacked rocks, and you know she didn't really swim, but she because it was really shallow, um, low, low, low tide. But she did get you know to play in the water a lot. My wife got to read her book and. I got to lay in the hammock. It was perfect. It was a perfect beach day. We were just so happy that we stuck it out and we, you know, we didn't settle for like a beach on the other side of the island that we don't really want to go to, but, um, but we could have made that choice. And so everything was just lining up today. Although when we went to go, when we went to go do our walk, um, this afternoon, it did start raining. And so we just fed the horses some apples, and then we left. But at least Talia got to see the horses again today. Um, Talia is 23 months on the 14th of June, so one more month till her birthday. I'm very excited about that. Two years old. My mom's going to be here and everything. So, All right, Kaliandra, I think we're going to call this. Uh, thank you all again for watching. I love you. Thank you and blessings to you. Namaste. Uh, I'll be back here tomorrow. Uh, on every platform you might be watching this on, so just come back. But if you're on YouTube, please hit the subscribe daily. And um, yeah, take care. Have a good one. See you soon.